Okay, everything is set and everything is recording. Ooh, what's up all my dragonlings? I am the Dragon God of Gaming, Damien Dragon, and welcome back to another episode of Sly 2 Band of Thieves. Now, I know we normally have been doing this as a, um, as streams, but I can't really be doing that at the moment. Uh, I do want to get this, um, this game finished before, um, Sly 3 Honor Among Thieves tomorrow. So I want to finish this up on a high note, so that's what we're going to be doing. As you guys can see, we have a we have a run, a charged TNT run this do. We will be beating the game today, so let's just get in. Oh yeah, I hope everyone enjoyed the first episode of Deadpool today. So, hope everyone has had a really good time with that. I had a lot of fun recording that. But, enough for Deadpool. We gotta go with our favorite raccoon. Oh god. Oh my god. Hey. 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 Oh, you guys got nothing. Okay. Carrying some heavy explosives, Bentley, because that engine isn't small. It just so happens that there's a ready supply of explosives already available on the blimp. Lock one of these Why? TNT barrels up to that engine room to destroy it. Sounds easy enough. What's the catch? The initial payload in that TNT barrel won't be powerful enough to do the job. If you pick up three magnetic chargers, you should achieve the necessary blast force to destroy the engine. It's simple, really. Just get close to the chargers, and they'll automatically attach to your barrel. All right, let's blow stuff up. You know, to be honest, it's upsetting that this is something, you know, you're gonna need to do. Okay, he is not fine. By any stretch of imagination, he is not fine. I know the game is kind of screwing up a bit, and I'll probably fix that in a second. I will fix that in a moment. Okay, that's one, that's two. What's this? Oh, what the top? Oh, of course. Okay. But let's not blow myself up while I am walking. Probably after this, I'll probably fix the lag. Okay. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, pardon me, excuse me, excuse me. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, pardon me, excuse me. Just a walking barrel of dynamite. No, no worries. I'm just a very explosive fucker. That's just all you need to know. All you need to know. I'm just a very explosive fucker. Does that mean something to you? Probably not. Do I want you guys to figure it out? Probably not. Would you guys probably care? Most likely not. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Oh my god, the lag. Yeet. Excuse me, pardon me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Deadly dynamite, deadly dynamite. Daddy Dynamite, Daddy, Daddy, Daddy Dynamite. It's a Daddy Dynamite. I'm pretty sure that eventually I'll be able to get up there. You would think that Clockla would have seen this by now. 
We're seeing that the engines weren't. Oh, oh god. You are so retarded. I'm sorry, but I don't care who you are. If I'm, if out my peripheral vision, you. On my peripheral vision, that a barrel just started moving, I would start questioning my own sanity. You guys know what I mean? I would start verily asking questions. Get back up there again. I should have just done that first. I didn't know it was this way though, so fuck. Okay. At some point, you need to seriously question your own sanity. Like, astronomically so. Sucker. I think I would just pushes me up. Go! Spread your wings and fly! You fucking tool! Oh boy. Hey Glockla, how you doing? But yeah, have you guys seen my, uh, my stream? Which by now a good amount of you should have seen it. Hey dude, what's happening? I wouldn't have been able to move anyway. I can wait for this to fully turn its way around. Ugh. So how are you? This is gonna be close. Mm. Okay. I would start asking questions. I seen something, then it immediately went away. Hey, if it works, it works. You don't question it. You don't question the reason why it worked. You just are happy that it worked. An unexpected windfall. I've been contacted by Inspector Fox over the shortwave radio. She's well aware of the dire situation we all face if Clockla becomes immortal and has agreed to join forces with us so that we can destroy the robotic bird. Nice. The only catch is that she's unable to locate this blimp on her radar. To help her hone in on our position, we'll need to boost the strength of four local radio towers. <coughs> Once Inspector Fox is in range, she'll take one of us on board to act as a tail gunner in a dogfight against Clocklock. Nice. This is it. We don't have time for another plan. We're almost over Paris, and if that hate hypnosis light show goes off, well, you know the story. Uh, yeah, death. <laughs> That's exactly what that means. 
That means death. Well, death for me, at least. Yay. Yeah, I'll need you to get on top of four very tall towers. They are too big to climb and too tall to jump up normally. Damn. What's this all got to do with this thing you've got me wearing? It's an experimental mega jump pack. By pressing the R2 button, you'll perform a huge jump. So be careful. All right. Sounds like fun. <laughs> yeah, stop me next to the guy that wants me dead. And don't these guys work for Arpeggio? Oh, fuck yeah. Okay, hold on. Before we even start on that, I finally got my... I finally got a way to... to get to this thing. I'm not gonna waste it. Are you serious? There wasn't another? <sighs> While I was underneath, there was. Oh, God. Alright. So I was hearing the one thing that I was. Okay. Damn. I finally, finally am able to get these things and And I don't know where the other clue is. That is infuriating. I would like to know where the other one is. But these I, I wouldn't have been able to get up to without. And that's the worst thing. You don't know where the other one is. I got the one that was hard to get. I may just do a bonus one at some point down the line to find all everything in the game. That means I may, you know, keep this game to where it is. Like, that's messed up. I worked so hard. And there's one. One that's missing. Oh, that's gonna, that, that's gonna irritate me. Even at the end of the game. It's gonna be 99... 99%. That is irritating. To all hell.
Damn, where is that last one? It has... It has to be around here somewhere. And that's the most frustrating thing. Like, I know it's around here, and yet I can't see it. What did I just grab? Oh. Ooh, so close. I'm leader's gunner. I guess I'm her gunner. It's around. Where is it? I am... Oh my god. It's gonna irritate me. It is gonna so irritate the crap out of me. Damn. Okay. As I said, I may just do a bonus video. Just outlining where to get these. Oh, this one. Okay. Chit chat? And that's not for chit chat? Oh my god. I don't call this great. I call this holy crap. I am about to crap my hands. Okay, now I know you're floating with me. You're doing it, Cooper? Come on now. I know, believe me. I have a stellar look. You just hate her. Halfway there. I was so freaking close. 
Okay. No problem! You stop yelling at me. I have feelings too. You fucking bitch. I'm coming, guys. Hold on. Help! Anyone? SOS! I'll say, really? I'll say, please, bend up. I let go a little too early. I'm hyperventilating. I need a paperback. <laughs> um. 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 Go for the nearest. Whew. I'm not digging this. This is bad. <laughs> Murray. Murray seems exceptionally calm. Come here, bitch. My life is literally flashing before my eyes. You want a piece of me? Don't worry. It's not that you have. You might have a new body, Neela, but you're still the low-down, backstabbing coward we've beaten time and time again. This won't be any different. Be brave while you can, Cooper. Why not? You have to <coughs> Oh no. Hey bitch. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, 
Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Smack you straight to the fucking ground, bitch. Die. No one portrays Damien Dragon. Betrays. We... We did it. It's an emotional moment. Watch out! That thing's still kicking. Oh god. Magla mentioned something about a heat chip. It sounded like the source of her power. If we remove it, she might stop attacking. Then let's do a little open head surgery. <laughs> Fat guys are not meant to do laser light shows. Come on, bitch. Open wide. I hate you, okay? I will find you when you sleep and I will destroy you. You never know what will be the rest of your shock, miserable lives. The club will know revenge. I am revenge. I am the alpha. Okay, scientists do not do this either. I think he's crippled now. Oh no. That is awful. And there we were, at the end of the road. The claw gang had been defeated and the clockwork parts lay scattered around in heaps. Yet, despite the explosion, they remained pristine. It was as if nothing could ever hurt them. Carmelita cursed herself for showing up too late to get a few shots in our clock lock. Duh. So she took it out on what was close at hand. The hate chip. Damn. And just like that, it was over. Without that core piece, that essential center of clockwork, there was nothing left. The parts aged before our eyes as if time had finally caught up with the ancient bird. How Damn. ironic that Carmelita, a police officer, would be the one to lift the curse from the Cooper family. The menace of clockwork would never again rise to threaten me or my children. Nice. True to her nature, she informed us that we were all under arrest. But one look at my gang told me that we were in no shape for a fast getaway. So Pretty much. I offered to go peacefully in exchange for letting my friends walk. They'd taken oh. some bruises through all of this, but I was surprised, shocked really, to see them leave their gear behind as they walked away. Their wounds were deeper than I'd imagined. Those guys were hurting. Carmelita's old police unit soon arrived. With me in custody, her name was cleared, and she even got a well-deserved promotion. It hey. was the least I could do. Hey. The ride to HQ started with us sitting in silence, trying to read each other's thoughts. As the reality of my capture <laughs> started to sink in, she began to relax, and we got to talking. We spoke mm. freely about our previous adventures, comparing notes and even getting in a few laughs. Then we started talking about, <laughs> well, everything. Books, music, <laughs> art. Hey. <laughs> it was like we were on a first date. She even showed me the bottle she'd been saving for the special occasion of my arrest. Damn. My heart sank when she realized that our short flight across town had already taken two hours. A fact I kind of clued into after seeing the Eiffel Tower float by 17 times. She went forward to ask the pilot what was up, 
and it looked like my pals had left me a little going away present before taking off. Let's go! <laughs> Floating away Let's on the night breeze, I could faintly make out Carmelita's voice. I'll find you, Cooper! <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> I'll be seeing you soon, Retail. Hey, okay. Okay. That was fucking awesome. <laughs> hey, at least she's not that upset about it. Even though she cursed me. <laughs> that was boss. That ending was good. Poor Bentley, though. Like, every... Murray, fine. Sly, kind of got a girlfriend. <laughs> Bentley got crippled. <laughs> <laughs> That's the most upsetting thing there. He's 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 like fuck this. Reach all. Oh. oh, he left the bottle of wine for her. Oh. He 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 circled back. He circled back to hand her her prized bottle of champagne. Hey, okay. Like Fox continues to search for Sly Cooper, whose current whereabouts are still unknown. Well, we're gonna figure it out tomorrow, where he actually went. Dimitri went on to work as a dance instructor on a cruise ship. Hey, hey, there you go, buddy. Rajan now owns a series of rug outlets across North America. Hey, okay. At least a living. He's making some dough. The contestant went on to become the most successful real estate broker in the greater Milwaukee area. Damn. Too bad. John Michelle went on to work for the EPA. And ended up working it again on a missing saving baby penguins. Oh no. Oh, poor bastard. What happened to Neela? Wait, Neela didn't die. Wait, she did. She exploded. Technically speaking, she died. But what happened to Mila? Okay, that's it. <laughs> You've seen everything. You won. Go outside. <laughs> what a jab at the gut. <laughs> You've seen everything. Go outside. 99%. Oh, that's going to haunt me. I want that last one. <clears throat> so close, 95. Over the course, 100%. The list goes on and on. I've done it all. And through it all, this is the second of my favorite game series. And we're gonna be completing the trilogy tomorrow when I go on to play Sly 3 Honor Among Thieves. There is Sly 4 Thieves in Time, but I can't get that. Oh wait, whoa. So that's a thing that I haven't been able to do. Which is upsetting. I did see that there was a, a thing. Come on. There was a... There was something that popped up. I did not see it. I had my eyes closed for a second. But damn. Through this whole game, I... I, I liked what it was. I like the way it started. I love the way it ended. And it sets up the n next game perfectly. So, ah. Uh, there's a lot of questions unanswered. Is clockwork really gone? Is that really it? What happened to Neela? Is, did Neela die? Because you've seen her programming, you've seen the programmed hologram, but is Neela truly dead? 
I'm... Your guess is as good as mine. We've seen what happened to all everything with the Contessa, and we've seen that Sly returned her, you know, Carmelita's bottle of wine to her that she was saving for his capture, and he's gone. So, and he went away. He's still thieving. Did he end up going back and seeing Murray and Bentley? Is Bentley okay? Is Bentley gonna be okay? Is Murray emotionally okay? You know, these are a lot of questions, but they're gonna be answered tomorrow. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys so much for a wonderful, wonderful week. Um, again, if you guys haven't seen early on, and you guys haven't seen the new Deadpool game, go check that out. Um, we're gonna be playing that every Sunday, a 40 minute Sunday segment with our friendly neighborhood, well, a friendly Mark with a mouth, Deadpool. So, come back every Sunday and Deadpool will be up. Speaking of which, anyway, ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope everyone has a wonderful, wonderful day. But you guys know what time it is. On the left hand side of the screen, there will be the last episode of Sly Cooper. You know what? No. Let's do it like this. On the left hand side of the screen, there'll be the entire playlist of Sly 2 Band of Thieves. If you guys want to sit back and and watch the entirety of the game, then it will be over on the left. But on the right hand side of the screen will be the subscribe button. Click it and join the Dragon Links today because we do something like this every single day so you do not want to mess out on a single thing that we do. And if you do, <laughs> well, if you subscribe, you can always go back. Anyway, it's been an honor playing Sly 2 Band of Thieves, but tomorrow we're going to be heading into Sly 3, Honor Among Thieves. And then very soon my favorite game will be over. Well, until I get my hands on Sly 4, Thieves in Time, and then you know what's going to need to happen. <laughs> but anyway, thank you guys so much for watching the video. And if you guys like it, please... Smack that like button, show who is boss, and share, and subscribe for the glory of the dragon, so you too may become a mortal, but from Damien T. to Blanche, to you video games all over the world, I will see you dragonlings in the very next episode. Peace my friends, good gaming, happy hunting, and I'll see all you dragonlings back inside the world of Sly. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time for some more Game Dragon action. Peace. I'll see you guys tomorrow for Sly 3. And seeing it's with that nobody has sat back and clicked and voted, a mystery series will start coming out tomorrow alongside of Sly 3. If you guys enjoy, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.